going on guys welcome back limelight capital here bringing you another video uh mainly gonna be talking about gamestop today it's kind of become my focus lately i'm still in, in, in uh, amc i have like a couple hundred shares I'm not exactly sure how much um let me just grab my cell phone here all right so so mainly this article i mean uh this video is going to be about um this Reddit article here that was posted five hours ago, but I do want to just take a quick look at the charts before we start here. So, so GameStop currently trading at one ninety two ninety one. Opened at one ninety three. I mean we're up a little bit. I mean it's just been like kind of trading flat. If you look here at the charts, um, everything's been trading flat. I mean, we've been trading flat for a while here. I mean it's just like let me see here. Slide over. Yeah, today's just been pitiful. I mean, the volume, if you look at the volume, it's just been like, we had that that spike a little bit after 1 o'clock down here, which was re looking really nice. I, I was thinking that was like a, maybe going to be a fake squeeze or something, but it didn't pan out to anything. The hedge funds obviously uh, <laughs> chucked some more shorts back at us, so um, as they've been doing for the past couple weeks. This is kind of reminiscent of um, February when there was the couple of days or like a couple of weeks where we just traded sideways at $40. It's looking really similar, so, I mean, if you look at every, the MACD and the RSI, it's just been kind of like, you know, everything's just been flat, um, but again, and this is kind of a nod to the Max Payne theory that people have been talking about, which they're basically theorizing that uh, the long whales that are basically like on our side, if you want to say, are uh, just keeping the price within this, uh, this same channel. Like this, I guess it would be like this channel, you know, it's like the 185 to like under 200 range type thing. Uh, so they're keeping it there due to max pain because I guess that costs the short the most money. Um, not exactly sure how that works. I don't have too much info on the max pain theory, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at MACD, it's about to cross again. We might see another breakout. Um, you know, we could see something like, I could definitely see a... Um, something like this where we kind of just like poke up to like almost 200 i could definitely see that but uh all right guys anyway so let's just take a quick look at amc here yeah i mean amc's just been getting beat up uh obviously the stock's a lot cheaper so it's open to more manipulation but well, yeah let's let's see what's the volume on gamestop here total volume here today wow yeah i mean it's just been under 10 million every day it's been insane let's see the volume for amc uh, even for AMC, 67 million is low. All right, um, let's move on to the article here. It's a long one. I'll try to keep it short. So, titled article: The short interest is fake. I found 44 million shorts that had their FTDs reset since January 1st. Using deep in the money calls, identifying call option types used for this practice and timeline of events. So I'm just gonna read the TLDR just real quick, just so you guys have an idea of what's going on. So. Uh, today, March 31st, so I guess you read this yesterday, 52.94 million was spent simultaneously on deep in the money co options for GameStop, ranging from uh, three calls to 19 calls. None of the previous days had shown activity, but we have seen this stuff in the past uh, already. Today, I tried to size the rabbit hole. Back in February, a number of apes identified weird transactions taking place in deep in the money calls, mainly at 12 and $15 strikes. First, people thought it was some kind of oddball bullish play, but it soon, excuse me, transpired that these never appear in the open interest that are seeming they are seemingly immediately exercised. So I'll click this here. Um, this is the link to what he was just talking about. Mystery solved. Deep in the money calls are coming from none other than the devil himself. So basically, Melvin Citadel, i.e., you know, um, why would somebody do that? Apparently, to reset the clock on their FTDs. Basically, uh, obviously, if you guys don't know, FTD stands for fail to deliver or failure to deliver. This SEC paper discusses the mechanism of this practice. So he clicks, uh, he links this here. I'm not going to go through it. It's just a lot of mumbo jumbo. But uh, strengthening practices for preventing and detecting illegal options trading. I mean, this kind of stuff has been going on for years, you know, like option trading has been... Uh, it's been a corrupt and crooked ball game for years. Like it's not average retail investors like myself are not given a fair shake when it comes to options trading. Um, 
for the length of this piece, let's call them deep in the money call anomalies. Today, this activity is back. I used these clues to trace back days with a lot of activity in those particular options, which then led me to find more call option types being used for the same practice. In one evening, I identified approximately 30 call option strikes and expiries that have been used for this practice since January 1st, and I believe I have traced where approximately 44 million missing GameStop shares have been hidden cumulatively. I proved that they are not organic activity by identifying their hallmarks and that this practice is taking place cyclically. So there he's basically saying um, he studied uh, the option sheet, I guess, and um, basically the data that he found and what he had realized from that is that there were uh, 44 million GameStop shares that were basically unaccounted for. They were like hidden in there, which that all ties into the OTC and the dark pool stuff. So I'm just going to skim through this, guys, because it's a really long article. But this is really big information that does need to get out there. So I did want to bring it to you guys uh, so you guys could maybe uh, start looking into it and read it for yourself because this is really good information. Uh, the deep in the money call anomalies are back to March 31st. So he, show, he links his little picture here. Call option spending March 31st from option sonar. So this picture here, it shows this is from March 31st, which is yesterday. So if you look here, this is where it would be. So the 12 to seven uh, in this $12 to $19 range. I mean, this is just insane here. Um, let's see. So it goes down. Yahoo Finance shows they use APR 16s. Okay. So this just shows um, when the options were bought and it shows the data. Uh, wow, look at this implied volatility, Jesus. All right, so, pardon me. What am I doing here? Jeez, I lost my page. Uh, pardon me, guys. I clicked on the Reddit settings. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, so here is checking out the option sonar and Yahoo Finance data against each other. We can verify that approximately... 303,900 FTDs were reset using this technique today. Okay, so basically just the shorts covering their own ass. None of the previous days have shown this activity, but have we seen it before? Are you ready to go down the rabbit hole? After telling up the historical volume of the type of call options used for this exercise today, I determined that the 6th and 8th of March were the heaviest days for this activity, with 8,000 contracts traded. Uh, so following the two favorites, APR 16 and 12 call and 15 call, there were clear patterns that would jump out at anyone. They were abused heavily in the last week of February slash first week of March. So here, uh, all right, so this is a chart that shows, wow, look at this. So these are all the $12 strike prices here. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is just, so Sedol's delight. Yeah, 24,000 contracts traded while open interest changes by three. Goddamn. Okay, so all this technical stuff I'm not going to go into, uh, but there are way, way more. Furthermore, this is not new. So this is just going back and showing the uh, options charts uh, for February and March. So this is where the rabbit hole starts getting interesting. This stuff was happening way before any of us knew what Stonk was. So this stuff has been going on for years, basically, is what he's saying. I mean, he has all these graphs and stuff. I'm not going to go through all this. Um, let me see here. Okay, so this seems pretty simple. I agree. This is out in the open, basically. I mean, I found it at the moment. I decided to try to find it. This is why I would lean towards, too. The rising price puts their short position and more risk, and they scramble to reset their FTDs. So this just has a bunch of like historical data. What are the hallmarks of this activity? This is basically like his uh, evidence. Is this the full picture? No, this has been happening with many more call options. Pardon me. Uh, for many of those, there would be what well, I could identify as significant organic volume, but still peppered with blocks of 100 and 200 from uh, Phoenix. There are some where just blocks of 20 to 40 were used. I did not fully investigate. So he links more, uh, a whole shit ton. Does the SEC know? Of course. Here's a quote. So, I mean, SEC knows all this stuff is going on, man. They've known for years. But, I mean, look, at the end of the day, guys, they're crooked. Just as the DTCC is. Um, just as, you know, any government agency, like, like the Fed. You know, they're all crooked, guys. Come on. Um, 
so yeah i mean i'm gonna link this in the description below guys um let's go back and take a quick look at the charts here um, what is this? Okay. all right let's just get back here to the chart All right, so yeah, I mean, it's, we could definitely follow this trend line here, guys. Um, you know, if we, let me see here, let me just pull this up. All right, yeah, I mean, we could definitely follow this trend line, guys, but uh, again, you know, the market isn't open tomorrow, it's Friday, it's a holiday, so we're gonna have to see what this long weekend does. I am anticipating uh, some news out of GameStop pretty soon. I do think Ryan Cohen will be nominated as CEO within the next month. It seems like April is going to be where a lot of the consolidation is for this stock. I think we're going to have a huge, uh, huge month, guys. You know, and this is not financial advice. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a retail ape like you guys. Um, any likes or comments would be appreciated on the video. Again, this is just kind of like a mess around channel. Uh, I will be plugging in my next video. I will be, will be plugging... Uh, uh, crypto channel that me and my, my buddies have coming out soon. Uh, it's gonna, it's called Coin Stars, so it's going to be basically focused on uh, primarily crypto. But I'm going to be doing some you know stock and finance uh, analysis as well. But um, you know, we'll just leave it at that, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again.